Now in our last video, we made the code so that at the very beginning of the game, the frog is alive. And if the frog goes up and touches the vehicle, then the frog is alive is now set to zero. Whereas at the beginning of the game, it was set to one. We haven't written the rest of the code to make it do other things. So we're going to start that process right now. And we're going to do that by going to the frog. So make sure that you're on the frog sprite. And we're going to add a little bit of code in here. So while we're checking if a key up is pressed, if a key down is pressed, if a key right arrow is pressed, if a key left arrow is pressed, this is the perfect time for us to also say, are you still alive? And the way we do that, I'm just going to duplicate this block again. Um, sorry, I'm, I'll put that one back in there. And over here, uh, I'm not going to um, check to see if an arrow key is pressed, so I can put that away. And I'm not going to change x by, I just really wanted the if, because I really like that if. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if frog is alive is uh, a specific value, in this case, 0. Because if it goes to 0, that means I'm no longer alive and something needs to happen. So in order to do that, uh, I do want this frog is alive variable, but this is, notice how the shapes are different. Um, this is more diamondy shaped and this is more round shaped. So I'm going to save that for later. But I happen to know that in the green operators area, we have some checks, some ways to check to see if something is true or false. And the easiest way to do that is right here with this equal sign. So I'm going to grab that and drag it over. I might as well put it right into the space. You can see as soon as it, I do that, it gets white and it pops open to receive this. You notice now that inside of here, there's a kind of a rounded area. So this frog is alive. Looks like it could fit right there and it can. And notice how it expands when I do that. And what I'm checking for is to see, is the frog is alive set to zero? As you can see up here, when the vehicle touched the frog, it sent the message that the frog should now no longer be alive. And so if frog is alive is set to zero, then do the thing that demonstrates to everybody that the frog has died. And so the first thing that we can do uh, is we can send the frog back to the start area. So that's just going to be a really, really simple one. Um, and so notice that uh, at the very beginning of the game, we did a glide two seconds. Uh, to a specific location, and I just want to duplicate that again. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put that inside the mouth of the if statement, and so I'm not sure why it activated every time, but it seems to be activating every time I click on it. And then we're going to add a lot more things here. So I might say, to add a comment, add more here later. And I'm just going to Move that in now. Again, make sure that this is at the bottom and that all the ifs are lined up nicely. If you're if if you do it wrong and the if goes inside, then it's only going to check if the frog is alive when the left arrow is pressed, which again makes no sense. And then I'll just move the comment over here. Okay. And when we come back here to add more stuff later, we'll be good to go. So let's test this. We're going to click the green flag. Uh, the frog is alive. I'm going to move up here and the frog died so it did send the message and it glided back to the start which is exactly what we wanted to do so before you go on why don't you stop and think what other things do you want to happen to the frog maybe you want it to change to change its costume so that it becomes more obvious that it's no longer alive um, maybe you want to change uh, some lives and keep track of how many lives it has left before the game is over. All of those things are things that can happen in that little um, area, in that little if statement right there. So I'm just going to pause for right now, come back with our next video.